What's up my stat stars? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do a chi-squared goodness of fit test on your TI-84 calculator. Super simple, super easy. It's gonna make getting your chi-squared and your p-value really, really simple. But on an FRQ, you still gotta do all the other work. So let's look at an example. So here's the problem. Data collected from a random sample, 450 adults in Ohio, shows the following breakdown of eye color. So here we see one categorical variable, what is your eye color, and we see it across multiple categories, blue, brown, green, hazel, amber. Researchers for a long time believed that nationwide the proportions of eye color are as follows. So these are what we believe to be true. 10% blue, 78% brown, 2% green, 5% hazel, and 5% amber. So here's the question. Does our sample provide convincing evidence that the proportions held by researchers for the nation are no longer valid in Ohio? So basically, does our observed data, the 40, the 370, the 5, the 20, the 15, give us evidence that in Ohio we do not follow the distributions that's supposedly true for the nation? Now, of course, step one is we got to write those alternative and null hypotheses. So the null hypothesis is that everything's the way it should be. The distribution of eye colors for Ohio adults is consistent with what was expected from the researchers' claims from the nation. So basically, the distribution of Ohio eye colors is no different than the rest of the country. And the alternative is that, no, there is a difference. The distribution of eye colors for Ohio adults is not consistent or not the same as it was for the rest of the nation. All right, now, if you know anything about the conditions, the first condition is that we have to have random samples to avoid bias. The second condition is because we were randomly sampling, we need our sample to be under 10% of the population to assume independence. And the last is that we need to have five or more expected counts in each category. So we can't actually check that until we go ahead and get our expected counts. Now, how do you get those expected counts? Well, we were told there were 450 total people in uh, the sample, right? And we know, for example, based on our original data here, that 10% were supposed to be blue. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump to our calculator, we're going to take 450, and we're going to multiply it by 10% to get what was expected to be blue, and that's how I got the 45. So I did the same thing, I just went right down the line, I took 78% times 450, 2%, 5%, 5% to get the numbers that we see, and we know that all of those are five or more. Now it comes time to actually go and get the chi-square. Now here's me showing all of that tedious work by hand. I took all the observes minus the expected squared divided by the expected. That's the formula for chi-squared. I did it each for each category, added it all together, but that's not very fun. I'm going to teach you right now how a calculator could do all of it. All right, the first thing we have to do is put the data into our calculator. So stat, edit, in list one, put the observed counts. That was the 40, the 370, the 5, the 20, and the 15. That's what I observed. Then in list 2, right next to those, I need to put the expected counts. Now, you can actually do the math directly in the program here. So, for example, I could do 450, and I can multiply by the 10% that was supposed to be blue uh, eyes, and boom, look, it automatically calculates the 45. Or you could do it separately and then put them all in here, however you want to do it. But now what we have to do is put those expected counts in here. And I'm covering up that last expected count. The last expected count is also 22.5. So there I go. Now, just double check that you type them all in there correct. The last thing you want to do is type them in wrong. It's going to mess everything up. And that's it. That's actually the hardest part is actually just typing all those values in. Now, to get your chi-squared and your p-value, all you can do is hit stat, slide over to test. You're going to go way down the list, keep going down, and you will literally see chi-squared, that little symbol for chi, the Greek letter, and you'll see G-O-F, that stands for goodness of fit test. Now, when you select this, it's going to simply say, hey, where is your observed data? Where's your expected data? So list one is where I put my observed data. So if it doesn't say L1, just hit second number one, it'll pop up. The expected data was in list two. The next thing we need is degrees of freedom. Remember with chi-squared, the degrees of freedom is not sample size minus one. How many categories do you have minus one? So I had five categories, blue, brown, green, hazel, amber, minus one is four degrees of freedom. So make sure you change that degrees of freedom to a four. Then you're gonna go ahead and hit calculate. And in a cinch, you will see everything you need. First off, we see the chi-squared, 6.1396. Now, you might be like, well, by hand, I got something slightly different. Calculator's not doing any routing. It's going to be really exact. And then you get that p-value of 0.1889, which is, again, really, really close to what I got as well. And that's it. That's what you need for the test because you need to show the test statistic. That's chi-squared, 6.1396, and your p-value, 0.1889. Now you're good to go to make your conclusion, and I hope by now, if you're watching this video, you know how to make a conclusion. And here is mine. 
Now, they didn't originally give us an alpha level in this problem, so I just went with 5%, but it really wouldn't matter if I used 5 or 1%. Since my p-value of 0.1889 is greater than 0.05, I will fail to reject an all hypothesis. There is no significant evidence that the distribution of eye colors for Ohio adults are not consistent with what was expected from the researchers' claims in the nation. Yes, my observed data did not match the expected data perfectly, but it wasn't so far off that I could all of a sudden claim Ohio is dramatically different than the rest of the country. But that's it. That's how simple it is. And chi-squared can be very tedious doing all that work by hand, but the calculator does it all for you really, really quickly.